Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into a subject that's less about where you're going and more about how you're getting there. Yes, today we're talking about that special, mysterious territory known as the back door, where emotional and psychological fireworks collide in the most awkwardly delightful way. Alright, let's get into it. You know, the brain is an amazing sex organ. It's like the ultimate VIP lounge that even the ass can't access without clearance. So, there I am, trying to navigate this new frontier of anal sex, thinking, how hard can this be? Turns out, it's like trying to park a spaceship in a driveway. I'm like, I've got this, until suddenly, it's like the universe decided to throw in an unexpected plot twist. And let's talk trust, oh, the trust. It's the kind of trust you have to have when you're asking someone to handle your most delicate equipment. It's not just any trust, it's the, I'm trusting you not to break my favorite toy, kind of trust. I'm standing there, thinking, if this goes wrong, I'll be discussing this with my therapist for years. Now, here's a joke, why did the anal virgin get a medal? Because he managed to keep a straight face through the whole ordeal. Seriously though, it's like every sensation is amplified tenfold, like a roller coaster ride you didn't sign up for but can't get off. And let's not forget the, naughtiness factor. There's something about doing something taboo that makes it feel like you're a rebel on the run. It's like society says, no, no, don't do that, and you're like, oh, but now I really want to. It's the ultimate reverse psychology, folks. In conclusion, if you're venturing into this territory, remember, it's all about trust, communication, and a good sense of humor. Because if you can't laugh about it, you might end up with more than just a sore bum. Thanks, like, comment, subscribe.